Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and today in this video I'm going to show you a few techniques on adding lace to some simple dance pieces and turning them into a custom look. So we're going to start with a bandeau bra and a skirt. You want to pick a color that has something to do with your dance. Um, now I bought lace in white and then dyed it with baby blue using RIT dye. And I also bought another piece and dyed it a royal using the RIT dye. So I'm going to show you a few different ways to go. You could go with a, a V, oops, a V, and then you can use it as a neckline and then add more lace across the back and turn it in, just tack it into place and turn it into a cute little bandeau top. You could also take that simple V, put it here and ruche up the side and sew it down. So then you'd have the blue on the top and the blue on the bottom. You could also take a simple piece. If you dye it with the pearls, add a little rubbing alcohol to it. And then that way they'll, they'll take the color also. If you put a simple band around the waistline, tack it down. Anything you sew onto a dance costume that does not stretch, make sure and have it stretched out using a mannequin or if you don't have access to one, use cardboard or you can put it on the person that's gonna wear it and put safety pins every so often. So when you take it off and it pulls in the leotard, the top, whatever it is, you know you have to stretch it that much for it to fit. Because if you sew it on a straight piece, when they go to put it on, they'll never be able to get it on. Another thing we could do is put it across like this. You can take some power mesh. We sell it on our site to match our items. So if you're looking for a specific color, we have it. You can wrap that around. And earlier I showed how to cut some circles that give you the nice flowy look. Um, we'll have that in another video, so look for that one. And you can hook them on the side. You could do multiples so it gives a nice flowy look to it. Then you take some of the lace and add it to the edge. Or you can take the V piece and turn it the opposite direction. You can cut them apart. You don't have to use the whole thing. So you can cut them apart, but make sure don't cut anywhere where it's all the sewing. The little gaps in between and place it like that. You can cut a small piece and just put it down the center. Now if you have straps, you can angle it all from higher on the strap coming down. We showed earlier if you bring it through, then you can twist it and go around like that. You can also take that same piece, knot it so it looks cute in the front, and then twist it around the back or tie it into a halter. Then add some simple lace pieces around that part. And you go from here down. So get creative. Think about what you want to do. Think about how you want to change it up. Um, Remember, if you add a little lace here, you probably want to add a little piece up here. You can curve it down and around to one side or even angling around to the skirt. Just make sure and sew it down good. If you don't know how to sew, remember to use a safety pin. Kind with a hook in it are the best for quilting nice and strong. Crush the head to it after you've put it in and put a little dab of glue. It won't open up on the dancer while she's dancing then. Look for some more of our techniques and things to do with simple dancewear to do it yourself and make a custom made look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. We're gonna have some amazing things coming out. We're gonna teach you all kinds of things that you can do your own costume. You can also use it for your everyday clothing. So watch, subscribe, can't wait to see you.